The commentary done by Diggity. Upper right in corner, we have Crossy starting as the Blue Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have Dogecoin Holder, a.k.a. <coughs> Terror, starting as the Pink Terran. This is going to be on Fighting Spirit, which I have not seen played in quite some time, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal it to you. This is one of the old perennial classics, where you have an actual expansion with kind of the dual... Well, not there, with the dual ramp. Uh, sorry, this is the natural expansion. Wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? So here, <laughs> natural expansion with the single ramp. The third down here at the 6 and 12... Accordingly, you have a double, this is kind of the interesting feature of it, you have a double gas in the middle of the map, which is very difficult to, to uh, secure and hold, and kind of a big open middle section, where sometimes you can build proxy. Point being, this is a this is a map that's been played for an extremely long period of time. It was one of the classic maps that was, I guess, in the, I'm trying to think of all of the equivalent maps. Python was kind of in that, that section of things, and I was about to say, yeah, that you can go build proxies and things like that, and here we have... Terror going ahead and building his initial eight racks in the middle of the map. It does not look like Crossy's going to scout it. He's got that Overlord making his way into the bottom right-hand corner. Also, wanted to make a comment. I do have my... So after a lot of consideration on YouTube, and it looks like, ooh, so this is going to get shut down pretty... Well, it should get shut down pretty quickly because we have an overpool out from Crossy. So we should have the Zerglings on the ground to go ahead and deal with what... Terror's throwing out, but anything can happen in Brood Wars, so we'll keep an eye on it. Wanted to give an update on the face camera on uh, above everything else. So a lot of different reactions from a lot of different people, and I'm like, okay, does it add anything to the audience? And there was kind of mixed reviews. They're like, it's up to you. And I'm like, okay, if it's up to me, I'm just going to do it when I feel like it. I'm going to take it off when I don't feel like it. And today, I feel like it. We're actually getting gas on top of this. So it doesn't look like this is going to be a full 8 racks dedication. So, going to build the initial marine to potentially get some harassment done, maybe get a scout out, maybe do some damage. Honestly, the the difficulty of this, though, is this leaves Terror very, very, uh, very vulnerable. This Overlord should make its way to that bottom right-hand corner, and I think spot that gas along that corner, which means these Zerglings should be able to do a significant amount of initial damage. We'll see if there's going to be the full, yeah, the full six Zerglings. So things looking pretty decent for Crossy initially. This Marine making its way out, and it looks like Terror just now with this first Marine going to find this base. He's not going to be able to kill an Overlord. Sees the hatchery spawning, and upon seeing that hatchery, he's going to have to flee. He's trying to regroup his Marines. He's already got two Marines and an SCV out. Let's see if these Zerglings, are they going to find it? They need, These Zerglings need to regroup, though, with the other Zerglings. Otherwise, this is going to be two Marines versus two Zerglings. So one of them getting picked off. The rest of them now grouping up. That SCV... Trying to back up. There's now three Marines versus three SEVs, which is really good odds. But now the rest of the Zerglings starting to join the fray. And one Marine down. I do like what is happening here, though, from Terror, where he realizes the situation, realizes he needs to delay as long as possible to get some sort of defense on his front door. So he's trying to trail off these Marines and draw Crossy as far away as possible from his main. It looks like that Overlord is now found. Terror's base, the rest of the Zerglings starting to spread out. So Terror, rather than getting aggressive and going for what I would consider, well, actually, a follow-up factory. So this might turn into a 1-1-1 as a follow-up. Vulture being built. That Vulture should shut down those Zerglings. This is turning into a very interesting match. This Zergling managing to find the main. So it looks like he actually is using the Zerglings to scout. He's going to get in here, but he's only going to get a moment to be able to wreak havoc here and do some damage before that Vulture is produced. It looks like there's only a single SCV on gas, so he's thinking about taking his natural expansion after this. And here's the thing with Vultures, is a single Vulture can kill practically infinite Zerglings until you get overwhelming amounts of Zerglings, pinning them in a corner, or you get uh, speed upgrade on... I guess speed upgrade can happen for both units. Speed upgrade on the Zerglings. SCV managing to scoot in. It sees the early layer. This is going to be two hatch play. Sutton Colony being built. So the SCV able to scoot in past the Zerglings on top of everything else. The Zerglings now coming back to home base for Terror. So Terror wants to move to Mutalisk from here. He's already got that Spire building at the natural expansion. I think he was hoping to hide that from Terror. But Terror sneaking down. I believe he spotted it. Terror needs to get a move on. He's building a second Vulture. And currently... <coughs> Never mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Never mind. Somewhere he's building a wraith. So this is pure one one one. There it is. It's got that starport hidden at the corner of the base. So he's going to go for pure one one one, and this wraith is going to have to dive forward, do as much disruption as rapidly as possible. Like the zerglings were looking for that. <coughs> Excuse me. We're out in space looking for some vulnerable. Uh, it looks like a lot of Zerglings being built by Terra in the meantime. So he wants to go for a bust 
immediately. So this initial Wraith is going to be able to kill that Overlord. The Zergling scooting by. It looks like they are able to get on top of that initial Vulture. Now they're going to go ahead and try to wreak some additional havoc and get some additional SEV kills in the main. The Wraith, I love this play actually from Crossy as far as a counter. So, because first of all, this is going to do immense amounts of economic disruption. He actually might be able to win the game. This also pins that Wraith back, forces more Vultures to be built while he starts getting his Overlord back up to go ahead and get potentially some Mutalists to engage this. A great defense, though, on the front. SCV's blocking the ramp, killing all of the Zerglings, honestly, for not a lot of damage done. A single SCV, or a, this single Zergling, though, five kills in the main. Terror down to 11 workers. He's got two Vultures and a Wraith. The Wraith's starting to move out, but we already have several Mutalisks and some Scourge in production. And as things stand right now, there's just not enough. There's just not enough anti-air for Terra to be able to repel this. And the Scourge are they just going to straight up? Yeah, just going to straight up land. The two vultures moving out. They here's the thing though: if those two vultures can sneak by and push into the main, they might be able to even things out potentially. But they've got to do a run by past this Sutton colony. Can the drones get there and block the ramp? Trying to block the ramp, but not in range. Another Mutalisk out. The Mutalisks are working their way against the factory. A single Marine being produced. There are turrets, it looks like, protecting the main. But these Vultures are getting all sorts of kills to even up the drone count in the meantime. So the factory looks like it might get picked off. And Crossy now with all of those drone kills, needs to get something accomplished with this. In a strong position still, another Wraith being built, but that's going to be GG from Terror. It's just too much. Too much. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.